Hey guys, welcome back to Explainer X today, I am going to recap a 2012 comedy drama movie, named Sexual Chronicles of a French Family. So, let's begin. Roman, an 18-year-old student, just clocked 18 about two months ago, and he fears that he has never had intercourse compared to males his age. He gets into a dare with his friend, Coralie, to masturbate in class, and Coralie does it in one of their classes. She is so smart that she wasn't caught, she sends Roman the video, and he watches it. During every Christmas, their family stands together to take a family portrait, his mother, Claire, an assistant at a law firm who purposely avoids controversial cases to ensure she doesn't get woven into it, and his brother, Pierre, which Roman says annoys him for his carefree acts, his adopted sister, Marie, who got boobs increased surgery because she felt her boobs were too small, his father, Hervé, and his grandfather, Michel. Michel takes the family portrait of the nuclear family before they all go for dinner. Roman explains that his family is too simple, and it irritates him. During their dinner, they talk about football and basketball, and no one talks about sex and romance. He wishes that one day, he will have the opportunity to speak to them about his body. I guess the day came quite early. Probably, Roman drags the day early. As a bet with Coralie, Roman masturbates in his biology class and tries to get it in the video, but he fails, and he is caught. The principal calls Claire. As she gets to the office, he tells her Roman has done something bad and that he has masturbated in class. He acknowledges that although Roman is an adult, there are some students in his class that aren't adults. Still, Claire argues that the students in the class can give sexual consent since they are 16 and above, but the principal tells her he called her there as a mother and not a lawyer, so she sits and listens. He tells her they will suspend Roman until the school's board sit to discuss what punishment should be meted out for him, so she should pick up her son at the infirmary. She goes there to meet Roman, who smiles at her and tells her it's not the end of the world. She asks him if he can now smile, considering he is always moody at home. She insists she wants to know exactly what caused his acts, and he tells her it's a dare with his friends. On their way home, Roman acknowledges that although his mother avoids controversial cases, this case involves him, and she will never let it go. His assumption turns out to be correct, as when Claire gets home, she explains all she has heard to Hervé and tells her the principal looked at her as though she was the cause of the issue. She complains that they provide everything their kids need, but they have never tried to talk to them about their sexuality. Hervé tries to calm her down and tells her not to get worked up, but she tells him they should communicate and ask their kids about their sexual life. Hervé asks her if she told her parents about her sex life, but she insists that the world is changing and evolving, and such a conversation should be had. She also talks about Michel and asks if Hervé knows how his father is managing after the death of his wife. That night, Roman sends the video to Coralie, who grades him 5 out of 10, Marie has intercourse with her boyfriend in the car and returns home late, and Pierre masturbates in his room after watching porn. The following morning during breakfast, Claire asks Marie why she returned late the night before, and Marie replies it's not that late. Roman comments that Marie is the queen of understatement as her short words make her avoid controversies. Pierre also comes out with his eyes swollen due to his late night acts, and when his mother asks, he says he is busy. Claire asks about Pierre's girlfriend, Melanie, saying it's been a while since she has seen him, and Pierre replies they have broken up. When Claire tries to ask further questions, Pierre ends the conversation by saying he and Melanie aren't engaged, so he doesn't see the need to tell them about the breakup. As a result, Roman comments that Pierre is the king of escape routes, and he escapes from every issue. And there he is, the worst of them all. As Claire is about to leave the house, she warns him not to spend too long on his laptop. In defense, he tells her he will call Coralie for her notes, and it makes Claire asks if she is dating Coralie. He replies, no, then Claire leaves to visit his grandfather Michel. His father also tells him that instead of their basketball game the next night, they should have a family dinner. He assumes that Claire is going to tell Michel what he has done. As Claire gets to Michel, he first informs him that Roman has been suspended and then asks Michel how he has been holding up sexually since the death of his wife. She apologizes for her question but says she wants to believe it is not the end for him after his wife's death two years ago. He replies to her that it isn't the end and he has been visiting a prostitute, Natalie, for over two years, and he sees Natalie twice a month. He says he fears that one day, he will have a heart attack in her presence, and the family will see him as a pervert, but Claire tells him it's all fine and necessary. When Claire returns home, Roman asks if she told Michelle what he did, but she replies no. She wishes her goodbye and leaves. As he gets to his room, he receives a message from Coralie telling him she rated him badly earlier, and he deserves more. Michelle comes to meet him, and they eat and play games before his father arrives. On the other hand, Marie is having intercourse with her new boyfriend, 
and Pierre is watching a girl masturbate and masturbate too. Roman says Marie told him she just met a girl that gave her sexual fulfillment, and Pierre encourages him that it's not a big deal to expose oneself. The parents plan a date with their male kids, Claire calls Pierre on a date, and they book a restaurant while Hervé calls Roman. On Claire's date table, before she even starts her main conversation, Pierre tells her he will be leaving soon, while on Hervé, Roman confesses that he thinks he is too late, and all his peers experience the joy of romance before they reach his age. He asks Hervé when he had his first intercourse, and Hervé replies it's at 16, and it's not with Claire because he met Claire a year after when he was 17. He shed tears and says even his father got exposed when he was younger than him. Claire eventually brings the subject of sex to Pierre, who tells her he isn't interested in the conversation. Claire asks him if he is happy. At first, he contemplates replying and eventually tells her he is happy. He says that's all he will tell her, leaving the table. Roman asks about the rubbers in their room, and Hervé tells Roman how he and Claire use condoms at the beginning because they fear pregnancy. He cries again and says Pierre does mock him and that he is a mistake. Hervé reassures him that he isn't a mistake and that they planned his birth to him. He asks Hervé to tell Roman to stop teasing him about it. The parents return home, and they talk about how the day went. Hervé tells Claire about the condom questions and tells her Roman thinks he is cheating on her. She jokingly tells him Roman might be right, and they both joke about cheating before they start touching each other and romancing. Meanwhile, Roman is in his room. He is thinking about the fact that everyone around is having sex except him, and he feels like he is a time bomb. That night, Marie meets her boyfriend, and Pierre is also with his girls while Michel is enjoying his prostitute too. The following day, he visits Coralie after school, he looks at her romantically, and she asks him if he wants to kiss her. He replies affirmatively, and she kisses him before leaving. Eventually, Coralie exposes to the school authorities that they all did videos in the class, and the principal couldn't suspend everyone, so Roman is allowed to return to school. On Michelle's birthday, Marie brings her new boyfriend, and Roman also brings Coralie home for the celebration. After the family party, Coralie follows Roman to his room, where they start touching each other. They strip themselves off their clothes and get to business properly. Coralie confesses that she has done it before with an older man, but this seems like her first real time. As he is about to penetrate, he remembers he needs a condom, they see a condom by his bedside courtesy of Hervé, and he takes it, but he can't wear it, she helps him out with it, and she teaches him how to get it done. A year later, Michel is dead. He died while he was about to come with Natalie, and because of that, no one attended his funeral except the family and Natalie. After he dies, Natalie calls Claire to inform her. Claire tells the family not to judge as the now big family, which consists of Marie's boyfriend and Coralie, sit together after the funeral. His father's death saddens Hervé, but Claire tells him it's better than if he died after a long sickness. Claire takes Natalie to Michelle's room, and they talk. She finds out that Michelle is much more confident about her job, and she doesn't take herself as a victim like people take prostitutes. They ask her if she will stay for dinner, but she says she has a client that evening. On the other hand, Marie leaves with her boyfriend, and while in the car, he suggests they visit Michelle's grave and have sex beside him. Marie gets angry about his wild sexual fantasies and instructs him to go, then refuses to have sex with him. He starts wanking beside her and tells her all he thinks whenever he wants to masturbate, she goes near him, and they have intercourse. After a few conversations between Hervé and Claire about Natalie and her confidence, they make out too. Meanwhile, in Romain's room, he videos Coralie while naked and says that it turns Coralie on. She posts their videos on a webcam, claiming it's better when you watch as it makes you know how to improve. He concludes that Coralie may not be the one, but she is indeed the first. The family stands for their family photos at the end of the movie. Roman says that for that year's photo, the family has increased, and everyone is now happy. And the movie ends here. So I hope you enjoy the video. So click any video of three them and enjoy next and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you for watching see you soon.